Okay, good morning guys. Uh, it is a nice morning, but it is going to be hot. It's been in the 90s all this week, so I'm going to be sweating like profusely. And, uh, and actually, this is a perfect day to experience the benefits of uh, what I'm about to do. And this is something that I've been, uh, I don't know if I say the word dread, dreading, but this is something that I have been uh, kind of putting off until the last minute uh, just because it's pretty scary. Um, the scariest things I did on my van so far has been uh, cutting the hole in the roof to uh, install the exhaust fan. And this is probably going to be the second most scariest thing, I think. And that is, I'm going to be cutting a hole in the back of this door, right here, to fit this air conditioner. And, um, and one of the reasons why I decided to put it here, um, instead of up here in the window, is uh, I've probably the primary reason is because um, I just think an AC unit in the window there just kind of looks uh, ghetto for a lack of a better term and so I'm going to put it in there and then I'll also paint the back end of it um, uh, either with uh, black spray paint or um, Plasti Dip so so yeah uh, my plan is to drill four holes then use a jigsaw cut out the metal in the shape of uh, the back end of this uh, air conditioning unit and then uh, removing all this uh, I'll probably remove all this trim work first and then also cutting the metal here um, and allowing it, the air conditioner to fit in here um, I've got that speaker there so I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do I might have to move that speaker out of the way uh, I did a lot of uh, pros and cons uh, concerning putting the, a window unit in here versus just turning the exhaust uh, fan into a, a rooftop AC. And uh, to me, it just seemed there was a lot more pros putting the, this unit down in here. So that's what I'm going to do today. And uh, I've also got some materials. Uh, this right here I'm going to be using to basically on the outside cut install this trim work around the cut and uh, what it is is uh, like a u-channel that snaps on and then this is kind of like a rubber washer rubber seal and then on the interior I have something similar that I used before and it's just uh, almost like door guard that I'll use on the interior metal trim so all right well that's it and uh, let's let's begin Okay, um, well, it's about uh, lunchtime right now, and I've been doing some figuring here, and I am not quite sure that that air conditioner is going to fit in such a way. I thought I measured it out uh, before I purchased it. Um, I created a template here that shows, uh, you know, basically what I need to f cut. And there's certain things I need to make room for and certain things I can't block. And so looking at it here, I would like to keep the speaker there. Um, I also have got some rivet points in here that structurally kind of keep the door solid. And so I want to keep I want to keep those so that puts me this far over here um, the challenge with this is that over here 
is the over here is the uh, the door uh, cables and the the handle right here. So I gotta either make room for these cables somehow, or I've got to pull this door handle out and maybe install it here. So, uh, I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a break because um, I don't want to mess up this door and I'm just going to spend some time thinking about it here for during lunch and uh, maybe it'll reveal itself. So, all right, well, it seems, uh, I think it seems like in just like every situation with every project that I've done, it's you hit a wall uh, constantly and you just try to figure out how to get around that wall. So. Well, guys, it's it's actually only 3:30, but I'm pushed, and uh, so I'm gonna call it a day. I have completed cutting out the interior uh, square, and um, I still got this little piece to to notch out. <clears throat> But uh, I was hoping to be able to have the whole thing installed today. So um, but I'm not going to push it because I'll probably, when I'm getting tired, I'll probably start make, making mistakes and I don't want to do that. Um, so uh, it's, it's been a, uh, a lot of figuring on this um, install. And I think what I have figured out is that the, and I made this template, that the interior cutout needs to be a half an inch shorter than the exterior cutout and the reasoning is because um, the way the air conditioner is designed it actually has a lip and that lip needs to back up to this so it doesn't fall out the back end so hopefully my calculations are right and that half inch lip will keep the uh, I hope this is square I tried to measure it as as best as possible um, so anyways uh, yeah so I'll just pick up this video when I uh, start back up and uh, hopefully we can get it done uh, the next time. All right, good morning, guys, or I should say good afternoon. It's probably, it's uh, almost 11.30 right now, and uh, gonna continue working on uh, installing uh, this air conditioner unit into the back door. And um, again, uh, why I'm installing it in the back door is, um, I did a lot of pros and cons versus uh, having a backdoor AC versus a rooftop AC. And for me, I think having it in the back door is um, the better option. However, this is kind of uncharted territory. I haven't found any video on YouTube um, that shows this. Um, I've seen a lot of videos where they install it in the back window, but not into the back door. And so this is a wee bit of a scary thing. Always scary whenever you're cutting into the metal frame of the vehicle. Um, but uh, yeah, so hopefully today we'll be able to finish that install and get that in there. Um, so yeah, uh, let's just get started. I finally think I've got the 
the measurements that I need to make the, the cut marks in the exterior skin. Uh, what I'm going to do now is I've got the cross points. Uh, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to drill a hole in each one of those cross points. And then um, on the outside, um, draw a pencil mark line to connect those and then uh, drill the exterior. So um, I think I think I'm ready. So yeah, so here we go. All right, well this is reminiscent of probably a year ago when I cut a hole in the roof and um, I've marked it out. I've actually drilled four pilot holes and uh, I hope I have measured to the best of my ability level, what's level and what will fit that air conditioner. So yeah, so here goes the cutting. Okay guys, well I got the hole cut and uh, what I'm going to do before I try to test uh, sliding it in, I bought this um, sealer. Um, I'm just going to kind of put this on right now. Um, just to get it in place. And see if the air conditioner will fit. Okay, well, I think I need to come a quarter of an inch both up and over um, because it's just a little too snug. So I'm going to trim that off and uh, see if that helps it. Okay guys, well I got the complete door cut and actually the air conditioner does fit. It's a snug fit, which is what I want. Um, but the day is got, the end, uh, the end of the day has come, so I'm actually gonna have to stop um, working. So what I might do is I might pick up later this week or maybe even the weekend um, to finish this off. Uh, but it looks good. I think it's gonna. I think it's gonna be real good. My main concern is that I don't want all the weight of that air conditioner just on the skin, the door skin. Um, so I need to uh, have some framing in here that uh, kind of helps uh, solidify it. So. Anyways, uh, I'm gonna wrap up for today, and um, I might make this whole video all in one final one video um, but uh, I'm going to stop for today and uh, thanks for watching okay guys it is day three and uh, so day one I basically got the interior uh, wall cut out day two got the exterior wall cut and uh, today what I'm hoping to do is uh, install some angle iron into basically some angle iron that I got at Home Depot. And we're just gonna kind of put it uh, up top and down below to help support the air conditioner. Um, I don't want the air conditioner's weight being um, resting totally on the skin, on this thin metal. So uh, yeah, so that's what we're gonna do today. And uh, hopefully today get it completely done. So yeah, so let's go.
Okay, well it is day four. Um, I was hoping to have it completely done yesterday, but no such luck. But let me show you what we've got going on so far here. So you can see I framed uh, with some uh, angle iron out to add more support and rigidity structure. And I also got framing up here as well. Um, and then I had to raise the speaker up higher in order to fit uh, the air conditioner. So, uh, so yeah, we're gonna slide it in and uh, see how well it fits. Okay, well, we are finally done with the main install. I think uh, I got everything set the way I want it to be. Um, got the air conditioner installed, and you can see the back here. Uh, I think what I'm gonna do is when the air conditioner is not in use, I'm gonna put uh, a magnetic uh, sign material on that back and just kind of cover that. Um, but uh, some uh, things with the install, I actually had to modify the, the side, uh, the door opener uh, because there wasn't enough room. So I actually had to uh, take the two, I don't know if you can see them, the two little things that really go in. I created a hole and uh, if you're familiar with uh, uh, Ford uh, Econoline vans, uh, you'll recognize these. So those actually went inside of here, but because of the uh, placement of the air conditioner, I could not continue to use this. So I just drilled some holes and uh, used the releases, and I just have to pull them. That's what I have to do to get the door open. But uh, it looks good. Um, I was actually, I actually had to move the speaker up a little bit behind there. Um, the speaker grill, I trimmed a little bit off the b bottom here in order to fit it, but uh, there it is, it's working, and we can close the door. You can hear the water sloshing in there, which is actually what it's supposed to do, because that water the fan throws the water back up on the evaporator coils and helps cool uh, helps cool the air conditioner. Let me turn on some lights here so we can see. So this is what it looks like in the back. Uh, very low profile on the inside. I'll probably do something to kind of cover up that area. I had cut, I had cut that out. I think I'd cut that out a while back. I probably should have just left it. Um, anyways, looks good. We have air conditioner now in here, and uh, especially on those hot Florida days. All right, guys. Well, I'm happy with the install, and uh, that was probably one of the biggest uh, challenges uh, I've done on the van. Uh, because having to cut a hole in the door, uh, cut the inside skin, make sure everything fit perfectly, um, it was a challenge. So anyways, I'm glad it's done and uh, got some other things that I'm uh, working on in the van to kind of fix and once I've got uh, s some more content, I will, I'm uh, excited to show you about some water filter stuff that I got installed here. So. Other than that, uh, happy with the install, and I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it, and uh, we'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.